Hey everyone, this week I'm attempting to make an impossible photo actually possible. So this week I've come to Conisborough Viaduct and I've been here plenty of times before in the past and I've attempted to get shots of the viaduct here. It's a fantastic structure but it's been really difficult to get that perfect shot because I've not been able to get far enough away or get the right angle or the right lens and basically I just gave up thinking it was impossible. But that was all before I got my drone. And recently I realised that I could come here, put my drone up in the sky and probably get a really good shot. So that's what I've come out to do today. And I'm going to make the impossible shot possible. It is a little bit breezy today, but I think it's just about okay to get the drone up. So let's send it up and see what compositions we can get. So it is very windy and the drone's struggling just a little bit but I am managing to get some shots. I want to get some shots looking that way into the sun as the sun goes down we're at sunset time but there's also a nice rainbow forming over there so I might get some from that direction looking that way as well.
So I've used two batteries now and I've only got one left. So I'm going to wait a little bit until the sun's going down, which is in around about 20 minutes. And hopefully the cloud is just clear enough. Hopefully I'm going to get some decent shots of the sun coming through the clouds as it goes down. So fingers crossed. So I'm really glad I got to make my impossible shot possible tonight. It's amazing what drones can do. The technology has come so far, just in a short space of time, maybe five or ten years, and we definitely wouldn't have been able to get those shots back then. So yeah, they're really amazing. But that's just one way how you can make your impossible shot possible. I've got a photo at home of Ansel Adams. It's quite a famous shot, and he stood on top of his car with his tripod mounted on there, taking a photo. And I'm pretty sure that he wouldn't have been able to get that shot unless he was stood so high on top of his car. So if you've got an impossible shot, think about how you can get around that problem. Think outside the box, get higher, get a different angle, use a different lens. Or if you've got a drone, put that up and get a shot with that because they're amazing. That's about it for this video, so a huge thank you for watching. I know I say that every week, but I really do mean it. And if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, you can click down there on the big red button, or over here on this picture of me, and that way you'll stay up to date with everything that Otis and I are doing. There's a new video every Sunday morning at 10am UK time. So I hope you'll join us next week for the next one. But until then, thanks a lot everyone, and bye for now.